Much of it made recently of the NVIDIA GTX 1080 and rightfully so, as from what we've learned it looks like a pretty impressive GPU. However, according to a leaked image, we might just be getting a notebook version of the GPU or a notebook GPU with the same naming convention. Now, as I just said, this is thanks to a leaked image, so none of this is confirmed or denied at this time by NVIDIA, but according to the leak, the alleged mobile version of the GTX 1080, which again, designed for notebooks, will feature 2048 CUDA cores, which are obviously less than the 2560 CUDA cores present in the desktop variant. However, the mobile version will be based on the new Pascal GP104 SKU, and it's also highly possible that it will feature a lower TDP in comparison to the desktop version. Now, as we all know, the main desktop version of the 1080 will be running at a default clock speed of 1607 MHz, whereas the notebook or laptop version could be running at 1442 MHz. Sadly, this particular image did not give us the boost clock details, but smart money is on the fact that it's obviously going to be focusing on battery life. There's not going to be a significant amount of difference between the core clock and the boost clock. Also, if you have a look at the image, you'll notice that the mobile version has unsurprisingly a lower memory bandwidth, 256GB per second, rather than the 320GB per second of the desktop version. Now, this does, of course, lead to questions about what type of RAM we could be having. So, it could be entirely possible that the mobile version will be having a GDDR5 rather than GDDR5X, but of course, that is pure speculation at this time. What is leaked in the image, however, is the memory clock, which is going to be 8,008 MHz, which is lower than the 10,000 MHz memory clock of the desktop version. Again, probably down to the conservation of battery life. However, it will feature the same amount of video memory, which of course is 8 gigs, which will encourage 4K support from developers and so on. It also has slightly less TMUs, 136, and however, it will be still, of course, using 16nm FinFET. Now, even with these slightly lowered specs, the mobile version of the 1080 is still looking pretty damn beefy and will undoubtedly give whoever's using it a pretty damn nice gaming-focused laptop, or at least a laptop that is capable of high-end gaming as well as even editing and stuff like that as well, which is pretty damn handy, actually, uh, getting a laptop that is good enough and beefy enough to do editing that doesn't take 5,000 years to do is very valuable indeed. Sadly, of course, no word on pricing, but um, it's probably not going to be cheap, but uh, could very much be worth. Either way, that looks really interesting. Hopefully we'll get confirmation of that soon, but for now, that is me done. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.